Oh, only OGs remember the good old MWR comms. If you can have the money and the fame, have a couple planes in your name, a pop in the champagne, would you buy a big house? Man, I haven't played this game in a fat minute. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back here with the brand of Spring of Video, and today we're gonna be, you know, talking about a little bit of a story type of deal. Not really a story, just kind of life crap. I haven't done one of these videos talking about this type of crap. I kind of live during the same live like four different times. I don't bother recording it sometimes, but we're just gonna fucking play it. So, what was it like doing YouTube throughout high school? Because as you guys may know, I've been making YouTube. YouTube videos like kind of on and off for the past eight or so years. I think 2011 or 2010 was my first ever YouTube video I made. WWE Super... That's why I don't play this game anymore. WWE Superstar Threads 2010, 11, one of the two. I don't freaking know. I'm, I'm literally just hopping on this game because I know someone in my stream said that I should do it for the OGs. Because as you guys know, the first video I made on this channel was actually, besides the, you know, talk about update crap returning or whatever, it was actually MWR Cutcoms. So we're taking it back for the OGs. Which, if you've been watching me since MWR Cutcoms, you guys are freaking OG as shit on my channel. I'll okay, go back to it. Doing YouTube as a high school student or just high school or your school in general, actually. The easiest thing in the world. It's actually very very, very challenging and especially if you're one of those guys that don't really want your peers to know that you do youtube it was kind of hard for me because i was vlogging throughout high school actually because i quit this whole like sniping crap back in 2014 15 one of the two and the other thing that was kind of like you know different from anybody else i actually transferred schools and then people found out about my youtube channel like two months after that so you can imagine how i felt just imagine transferring schools and then freaking everybody find out that you had a youtube channel just imagine that it wasn't that bad because i didn't have a hard time like talking to people making friends i was still the same retard i was in my other school but it just felt a little bit weird and that was actually before i even started vlogging that was like they found my old gaming channel which i wish i could find that and show you guys that but i really can't i have no idea where it is i think it got like terminated or whatever but yeah they found that they found like my old quit video and everything about why i quit and shit like that oh but that was a scary thought knowing everybody knew that i did youtube and keep in mind that was before i even started vlogging and daily vlogging and crap okay so that was the first challenge now the second challenge was just uploading and finding a good schedule because i'm one of those youtubers that you know want to upload daily and want to be consistent with it i don't want to just have lazy days or whatever which is why i actually do upload it i know that some people say that it's not good or whatever just spend more time on your videos but even if i did spend more time on videos i still have enough time to you know edit and post every single day <laughs> and i do spend a pretty good amount of time on my videos actually not gonna lie and i still stream and stuff but that wasn't a case in high school in high school it was me just vlogging my daily life sometimes in school sometimes not in school those vlogs are shit i showed you a little bit of them they were shit i have a few vlogs from high school my old channel if you want to check it out just look up alex Ecker. just look up my name you guys will be able to find some old high school vlogs you bitch! You're not gonna lie, it was kind of scary at first, you know, being known as the YouTuber, you know, especially at a new school, that kind of freaking blue. You know, I've kind of just learned to embrace it at this point. Like, everybody knows that I did YouTube in high school. Teachers knew and everything. That was probably the most awkward part, actually knowing that my teachers knew that I did YouTube videos. That was kind of awkward. Some supported, some didn't really mind it. Some just... I know that some people have these YouTube stores where they're just like, yeah, my teacher, like, humiliated me in front of my whole class. I didn't have that in high school. My teachers were pretty chill about it. They just knew that I didn't, didn't touch on the subject or anything. And then the homework side of things, you know, doing YouTube and all that crap. I did all my homework at school, not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna say that I freaking had to manage some hell long time. But through all, like, the last two years of high school, I did all my homework at freaking school, bro. I managed my time pretty good at school so I could actually, you know, like, just do go home and make YouTube videos and do whatever I want to do and not have to worry about it. I didn't study at all. My, you know, theory was, like, just do good on freaking homework or whatever and do your homework and you don't have to do good on tests, barely. And you're still gonna pass, so that's what kind of what I did and throughout high school. God, doesn't it feel good to not have a rage in today's video? I actually added one, but that's it. What? Okay, I'm not gonna rage. I'm so pissed! So yeah, YouTube in high school, I didn't have the most exciting story about YouTube throughout high school. But, you know, it's still nice to talk about because everyone has their own stories. And, you know, everyone has their own things that they went through in high school with YouTube. Some people had a lot worse. Some people got embarrassed for their whole class. But I would have just embraced it, to be honest. Imagine, like, videos that I make now. I, like, I'm a meme on Twitter or whatever. I was a walking meme throughout high school, not gonna lie. I was kind of one of the class clowns and just all that stuff. So I wouldn't really care. And honestly, I really, really enjoyed high school. Not really the learning part, but, you know, just hanging around with friends. Just being a meme toward everybody was kind of like, you know, what I did throughout high school. I should honestly play more MWR and upload more videos on this game because I honestly just enjoy the fuck out of this game. I don't know why. Trying to hit a clip for you guys for today's video, but I doubt it's going to happen because this game is so hard to hit clips on. I swear to God. I don't get out for Cedo and all those freaking MWR players hit clips on this game. Especially MWR. Compared to COD 4, I'd rather play COD 4 because COD 4 is a lot more enjoyable. COD 4, you actually had a shit ton of sniper libraries and MWR is just freaking tryhards. You know, we got freaking Zesty Dubai. Whatever the fuck his name is. Dubai, W. 
Don't you love when you get turned on in this game because sniper hit registration is just dog shit? Yeah, I love it. I know you guys do too. Fuck you! T Dude, I'm actually pissed. I'm actually annoyed. Look at this. Of course he gets my, me instead of my teammate. Oh my flippity flip. That's cool. I love this game. I fucking do. I really love this game. Okay, so I think that's enough MWR for me today. I want to live stream it. I'm just getting flat out annoyed with this game. Well, leave a like on this video if you guys want to see more MWR. I'm glad they make more of it. Basically, leave what card you guys want to see me upload next down below in the comment section below. And as always, I will see all you beautiful friends. Later. You can have the money and the fame. Have a couple planes in your name. A pop in the champagne. Would you buy a big house and a couple of whips? And cash a couple of your chips for a closet of kicks?